All right, so let's talk about the rap beefs that Prodigy from Mob Deep was involved in. Although he was loved and respected by the industry, Prodigy had a history of confronting MCs he felt were disrespectful. Known for his raw and hardcore lyrics and no whole bars mentality towards anyone who came for him. Prodigy put himself in a sizable amount of beefs in the rap game only to eventually squash them. First up, Snoop Dogg. Now, after the heated 1995 Source Awards that showed the evident tension between the East and the West Coast, Snoop Dogg even rhetorically asked, the East don't have no love for Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg? The dog father released a video for the song New York, New York, knocking over buildings and causing a mess all over the respective city. Prodigy notes in an interview with Vlad TV how he wasn't sure why Snoop Dogg was so heated, but guess he was just taking up his crew. Years later, Prodigy would patch things up with Snoop, officially declaring him the homie when talking about the past drama. Next up, Tupac Shakur. After Mob Deep's response to Snoop Dogg's New York, New York record with LA LA, Tupac already had a gripe with Biggie, feeling like the Brooklyn MC was involved in his shooting before he went to jail. He released Hit Him Up in June of 1996 in the outro of the East Coast diss. Tupac took shots at Mob Deep, even noting Prodigy's illness, which today feels overwhelming below the belt. In an interview with Vlad TV in 2012, Prodigy understood post-feud how Tupac was just repping the West Side and riding for his crew, even though Mob Deep had no beef with him. Next up, Jay-Z. As a successful entrepreneur, businessman, and rap OG, Jay-Z didn't bring or directly diss or call out any of his potential ops. Hove made a song called Money Cash Hoes that almost served as an East Coast response to Snoop's New York, New York. At Hot 97 Summer Jam in 2001, Jay-Z debuted his scathing track Takeover coming straight for Mob Deep and Prodigy. Specifically referencing Days being at his grandmother's dance school and projected a picture of him dressed as Michael Jackson as a boy. Months later, after running into each other at a restaurant in New York, P and J decided to let bygones be bygones. Years later, J would admit the tremendous impact Prodigy had on hip hop, saying, for a period of time, he was close to being the best rapper in the game. Next up, Nas. Prodigy's beef with Nas stemmed from members of Nas's crew who felt like he was overstepping his boundaries representing Queensbridge when he wasn't from that hood originally. Years later, once Prodigy bred in Hempstead, got out of jail. Both of the rappers had a phone call to quell any potential animosity between the two. Nas hadn't even known that Prodigy spoke about him in his book, My Infamous Life. But the two men put aside their differences and soon collaborated together on a track called Dog, S-H-I-T. Next up, Saigon. In 2007, Prodigy did an interview where he noted that he wasn't very fond of Saigon after running into Saigon at a New York venue at SOB's. Prodigy got into an altercation with him and the years that followed feature both taking digs at each other. In 2014, Saigon did an interview noting in hindsight the impulsiveness of fighting Prodigy after hearing him talk bad about him. Next up, True Life. In 2000, Any Given Sunday soundtrack was released with Mob G's track, Never Going Back, which included Prodigy's verse that actually originally recorded on a True Life song. True Life took offense to what he deemed double dipping, and a long-standing feud ensued after that. It wasn't until True Life got out of prison 
in April 2016 that the two MCs finally put their beef to rest after proclaiming that they were both in a better place with each other on Instagram. Next up, Keith Murray. LL Cool J's released a remix for I Shotcha in 1995 with both Prodigy and Murray featured on the track. Right after Murray's opening, Prodigy took shots at the rapper. Murray felt blindsided by the diss and later, in an encounter in a club, both rappers got into an altercation. Years later, the two will go back and forth dissing each other in songs and in interviews, making up then seemingly being at odds again. Finally, in 2012, the two MCs appeared in a picture on Instagram with Busta Rhymes signaling a truth. Next up, Redman. On the infamous prelude from Mob Deep's The Infamous Album, Prodigy called out a half a rapper's who talking about how much you get high, how much weed you smoke, and that crazy space shit and don't even make sense. Redman took offense to that record and along with Murray also felt slighted. Confronted Prodigy at the former New York hotspot, The Tunnel. Next up, Havoc. In 2012, Havoc sent out a series of left field tweets going at Prodigy. In one of his comments, he accused Prodigy of having a relationship with a man while in jail. Though initially claimed to be hacked, audio surfaced online of Havoc saying the same statement he made on his tweets. The group ended up taking a break for a while, but luckily got back together to release the infamous Mob Deep album in 2014. Speaking to MTV in 2013, Prodigy reflects on his relationship with Havoc saying, me and Hav got a different type of relationship, man. He adds, we've been through a lot of stuff growing up, just personal stuff. When you're dealing with somebody for that long every day, you're going to have your little squabbles or whatever. It's nothing. Now, can you think of any other beefs that Prodigy had? Jump in the comments and let me know what you think. And as always, if you like what you hear, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.